Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Six rounds in a super welterweight contest. Your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Emil T. And your timekeeper, Mr. Alex McKenzie. And now, the team first, fighting out of the blue corner. Officially weighing in at 70.5 kilos. Tonight, making his ninth professional appearance inside of this ring. From Budapest, Hungary, please welcome Attila Dobrovi. And now, we can see the opponent across the ring in the red corner, officially weighing at 70.75 kilos. He brings to the ring three wins and two draws. Trained by Tony Dabbitt from Ken Mary Carey, fighting out of Phoenix of Valley Bowl Gym. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Liam the Kingdom Co-main event of the evening, Liam Walsh, 3 one 2 draws as a professional, undefeated at only 19 years old, taking on Attila Doblan in his ninth professional outing. A fantastic test for this young fighter. Co-main eventing the return of Irish boxing in the National Stadium. Again, it must be said, only 19 years old. The weight of expectation lies heavy on Liam Walsh. To quote the Marvel movies, he is burdened with glorious purpose. Right now, he has taken the center of the ring. Just trying to get a read on his opponent. Attila Doblan doing nothing to endear himself to the Dublin crowd here. Nice stiff job. Being thrown by Liam Walsh there in the white trunks. Again, beautiful stiff job. He rocked in there with that. Attila Doblan playing to the crowd a little bit, I think. Needs to focus more on the shots coming from Liam Walsh. The Kingdom Kid very much having it all his own way right now. Has a distinct height advantage over his opponent. Coming in at 6-1, that height advantage, by the looks of it, translates to a reach advantage. And Attila needs to be careful of leaning back with that chin exposed when he's moving backwards. Or he will be primed for a counter hook or a lead hook from Liam Walsh. Good stiff job again from Walsh. He is really controlling the fight so far, forcing Attila into the clinch. Walsh trying to work his levels. Throwing some nice feints, attacking the body here, expecting to go high with a big rear shot. Oh, attacking the body again. Walsh starting to red and up the nose of Attila Dublan. Needs to be wary of crouching too lower. There's a big uppercut primed. Walsh very much having the fight all his own way. The County Kerry man taking this fight in his stride at only 19 years of age to be able to perform like this in the co-main event of the return of Irish boxing to the National Stadium. An incredible feat. And again, double on very much in defensive mode there, Jay. Didn't really offer anything in the way of offense and a little bit tentative you get the feeling that if he starts to to grow into this fight a little more he's going to be very very dangerous Liam's going to be very eager to, to get a stoppage here tonight so he is 
it must be said, this is also his first six rounder, so will that play into the, the game plan or play into the approach? Yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be unfamiliar, to t uh, unfamiliar territory for sure for him. Knowing that it could potentially go that far. Exactly. And um, unfamiliar water, he, he yep. doesn't know how he's going to react in there. You know, it's going to be the first time, but, you know, if he can control it mentally, mm. that's really all that matters. He has the work done, he has the training done. Landing some lovely body shots there. That, that amateur lead, that long back, yep. backhand of the body, again, we see that as... Burke was shown in his fight. A lot of strapping on the knee of Dobolan, you can see it there. And he's making, a, with, with the greatest of respect, he's making a fundamental mistake in his movement where he's crossing his feet as he's walking. You can see that rear leg is coming across as opposed to the rear leg moving and the front leg following. Yeah, you know, if, if, if Liam can land on him in the right time, you know, he'll just fall over because yeah. there's no stability, there's no foundation in his foot. Oh, just as you said, Jay. <laughs> Turning up the heat now is the Kingdom Kid trying to send his opponent to Kingdom Come. <laughs> lovely, lovely lead hook there by Liam and the bad body shot. He's doing the right thing here, you know, he has him hurt and, you know, he, he's been landing some good shots. Oh, one stage there, it looked like Dobolan was shooting in for a single leg takedown. Yeah. This is boxing, not MMA. <laughs> if Walsh continues to throw like this, he could have Dobolan doubled over in no time. You are knocking it out of the park and I fall, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love uh, Liam's composure here. Yep. You know, he, he's not. Dobolan's awkward. You know, he's got a, he's got an awkward style. Oh, Lovely. big shots! He has him pushed in the corner. Nowhere to go for Dobolan. But he's firing back. It's almost as soon as Liam senses a little bit of fragility in Dobolan, he flicks that switch. But Liam has just settled himself back down again, got his distance, got his footwork, and you know he's easing into it here nicely again. He is considerably more composed than the people sitting behind us. I don't know if you can hear that in comms, but I don't know. I definitely don't need eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> I can kind of tell what's going on. <laughs> but it's the way he's able to to throw that aggressive flurry and then step out and recompose himself. That again, I keep harking back to it. At 19 years old is so impressive. Yeah, definitely. Like this is this is a big night for him. You know, it's a big promotion. If anybody doesn't know, his father Barry Walsh is the promoter of this show. Yeah, look, it it looks very one way for Liam Walsh here tonight so far. He's been very controlled. He's been very mature in his performance as yep. well. He's not getting caught up in the hype of. He's not getting caught up in the hype of uh, all his crazy fans here behind us tonight. <laughs> you can see the marking up on the face of Dobolan, it shows that when Walsh is landing, he's landing with ferocity, he's landing with seriously bad intentions. Just pawing at that jab, the rear hand may be coming to follow. Dobolan is like, he's so unpredictable. Yep, he's, like, a, he's he just, a wee unorthodox jukebox, isn't yes, he? Yes, he just like makes a tear at you, and if you can time it right, but it's very hard to time it because I don't know if he knows when he's going to do yeah, it. If, if he doesn't know what he's going to do, how is Liam Walsh exactly. meant to get a read on him? But there's been a couple of times he has deflected with the shoulder. There's been a nice little bit of shoulder guard being worked there by Dobolan. Yeah, he's tucking his chin in nicely when he's going back. He does have his hands down, but he's tucking the chin in nicely and kind of going back to the side a little bit. But Dobolan's making this a little bit awkward here now, yep. so he is and a little bit scrappy. The referee's warning him about trying to get in on those takedowns. Walsh is doing a good job now, not taking any unnecessary risks. Pawing out with that jab, he stung him with a jab. That's exactly what Liam needs to be doing. He just needs to keep pawing the jab. You know, even sticking the jab to the body a little bit. Beautiful oh. left hook there. Dobolan calling him on. A little bit of frustration creeping in on the side of Walsh. Doesn't like his work being stalled there by Dobolan. And every time Walsh seems to 
to control the fight and get Dobolan into one of our corners here. That's when he does his best work. You can see he's trying to edge him into the corner there, slowly, methodically working. Oh, huge uppercut from Walsh. Beautiful shots there from Liam. Dobolan took them well. Doesn't seem to be too hurt or phased by them. But if Liam can keep landing these shots, I can see a stoppage yep. coming. And it's, it's that old adage of uh, not going looking for the stoppage, letting the stoppage present itself, letting it come to you. And that's exactly what he's doing. That is the secret, Phil, you know what I mean? The, the more you go looking for the stoppage, it's not going to happen. You know, sometimes it just comes out of the blue. Yep. All you need to do is just set the traps, you know, those little feints, you know, try and time Dobolan coming in and catching him when he's on his way in. Dobolan, when he's, he's still on very slow sort of feints himself, he's leaving, he's almost leaning with his face a little bit. Yeah, he's like... Your composure, maintain your awareness, don't get caught with anything silly at this stage. Yeah, he's just got to keep doing what he's doing, keep breaking him down and and hope, hoping that he's going to, he's going to, Dobolan's going to run on to a shot for him because he is very tricky and he is very awkward and when, when you try to go on and put the pressure on him he falls down, he holds on to you, he makes it a little bit messy. This is all Liam is going to do, you know, just keep it a long distance, keep tapping the jab and wait for Dobolan to open up and let his punches go. Oh, oh he's taking the body. Yeah, very nice body shot there. Kill the body and the head will follow. He's a bit of a character, this double on, isn't he? Like he's, That's one way of saying it, Jake. You know, he's taking his shots and he's he's throwing a bit of uh, showboating, but there's not too many showboat when that's, they're getting their... That's what we said about my <laughs> uncle, called him a bit of a character, and then he was convicted. Anyway, back <laughs> to the boxing. <laughs> yeah, you can see there's a... Maybe perhaps um, he's a wee sandwich short of a full picnic. Old left doesn't go all the way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Walsh just sizing up and you can see that Walsh can see the openings. He's just waiting to pull the trigger. Wonderfully composed performance. Dobolan got a little bit of a reprieve there. He, he was still, it wasn't, he didn't take a knee, he was still very much on two feet. Yeah, I think it was more of a, a bit of a tussle. Mm. Liam kind of came in and fell short and landed in on top of Dobolan, but... Liam landed shot, big yes. shots now to the body, to the head. Oh, brilliant hook over the top there by Liam. And see this again, I believe that Dobolan should get a warning for this. Like this, you can't keep doing this. You know, it's definitely disrupting the fight and mm. it's... It's causing Liam not to, to do what he wants to do in there, yep. but it's illegal what he's doing. Like, you can't grab your man below the waist. Oh, huge shot over the top there. Definitely wobble double on. Turning him from double on into wobble on. <laughs> You're never going to want to call a fight with me again, are you, mate? There's no way I can match this, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just going to have to learn off you, folks. Take notes. Serving your apprenticeship. <laughs> Very much like Liam Walsh here. Oh, huge shot to the body causes the knockdown. Into the neutral corner goes Liam Walsh. Standing eight count being administered here by a referee. And Dobolan is very much a sitting duck right now. Another big shot. If Walsh turns it up right now, this could yeah, be the beginning of the be end. Be there it is, ladies and gentlemen, still undefeated. The first finish in his professional career. Ladies and gentlemen, Liam, the Kingdom Kid Walsh.
Christ. Christ.